He's just the like quintessential perfect uh, family dog. He sleeps in in the bed at our feet every night, and our four year old loves him, and he's very sweet with the baby, and he's just the best dog. Of course, every time, both deployments, it's every time he comes home, I literally stand back and I <laughs> say hello to him first and I just watch it and then I'll say my hello. I just like let that moment be completely hers. All the challenges of the distance and everything, it, it kind of makes all that just fade into a distant memory and uh, just reuniting with her and feeling, you know, true love. Um, it's just such an awesome, happy moment that I just, I mean, I hold on to that memory. And even today, the, the difficult times, the rough times of deployment, just kind of forget about those and just remember just the coming home and having Amelia run up to me and then embracing Maggie and everything. So. It melts your heart because she's such a daddy's girl. I missed you. Hi, you too. Yeah. Kiss. Oh. He sleeps in our bed. So <laughs> when Michael was not here, he slept in Michael's spot. <laughs> so like to me, he he he's so sweet. I don't, honestly don't think he would hurt a fly, but to me, I just felt like much safer with him. Like he knows I'm number one, but he's a close number two. He doesn't even bark. He's capable of barking. He's barked before, but I think in the year we've had him, he's barked like eight times. So to come home and him being like, oh, you actually remember me, that was a great feeling. It's like his delayed reaction. Yeah. Like he's like, oh, it's a person. I love people. And then he was like, oh, wait, you're, you're dad. <laughs> It's rough. Thankfully, our next unit that we're headed to next year is, is non-deployable, so I'll spend three years. Uh, we're going to Japan, which I'm very excited for. We're all excited for. The wife and, and the daughters and Odin's coming too.